Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you another rant video. Wow, uh... Wow. A bit late, a bit late, because it's been a good month, I think, since the game came out. Uh... <laughs> little cat's playing with a foot there. That'll probably be the only fun thing that's happening here. But yeah, um, Avengers, Avengers the video game. I want to snap the disc in half, okay? I'm done with this game, okay? I'm done. I played 25% of it, I think I'm done. I'm done. This is this is one of those rare times where I don't even want to finish the game because it's an absolute pile of donkey shit. Yeah, I'm going to use that term. It's a pile of donkey shit. That's what it is. I, I saw the reviews. I saw all the other trusted sources ripping this game apart. But I wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt because I thought, okay, maybe I'll enjoy the story. The story. The story from what I saw was good. It was interesting. It was decent. But for the love of Christ, this is the complete opposite of, say, something like The Last of Us 2. With The Last of Us 2, you, you don't want to play it because the story is a pile of shit. With this game, you don't want to play it because the gameplay is trash. Okay, if the gameplay and the story aren't up to scratch together at the same time, there is no point playing a video game like this. And, yeah, I, I can't force myself to play for this pile of shit even if the story is good. I, I really wanted to, I tried, I tried. Where did I go up to? I think I got up to when Iron Man got his new suit, started doing some few missions and that. And keep in mind, I don't play online games, okay? I don't like playing online games for <laughs> whatever reason. Uh, I'm used to, not anymore. But uh, for me, this is, this is not a game I wanted to play online. I wanted a good single player campaign and I couldn't even get that, no. Playing this game, reminded me of playing the original Iron Man game on the PS3 back in 2008 when the first movie came out, uh, you know, the first MCU Iron Man movie, and there was that video game movie tie-in. And I don't know if any of you played that, but that was an absolute pile of shit. You know, you had constantly had a swarm and wave of enemies constantly attacking you, firing at you, and yeah, it just was not a fun game. Yeah, you got cool little upgrades and you could upgrade your suit and that. that's all nice and shit, but uh, when the gameplay is designed in such a way where you're not having fun with it, what the hell's the point? And this game is designed in the same bloody goddamn way. I mean, Crystal Dynamics, Jesus Christ. I knew from the get-go, I knew from the moment I heard that Crystal Dynamics was making this, I was like, this game is gonna suck. Okay, I, I had no high hopes for this. I think because, because, I'm trying to remember what game they did. Uh, did they? Did they? They did the Tomb Raider games, right? And uh, besides, besides the first Tomb Raider game, the f besides the first one that they did, and maybe the second little bits of the second, I I, I hated the third one. I hated Sh uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I thought that was a repetitive pile of crap. And Square Enix, I don't know. I mean, I think it was the same guys that also did Deus Ex. And really, the the first Human uh, Human Revolutions was the only good one. Mankind Divided was an absolute rushed piece of crap. And uh, yeah, I just didn't have high hopes for this. And uh, what do you know? I was right. This game, this game just didn't 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 meet the standards I thought it could meet, uh, and it just it didn't work. It didn't work. From what I played, from what I played, at least at least the prologue, uh, the prologue section was decent. But after that, like I don't know, it just goes downhill. Like I really was in trying to enjoy this, uh, and it does have some decent quiet moments where you're sort of exploring the heli carrier and you're interacting with the characters. That's all good and that. But the constant uh, repetitive missions that you're doing, like, just to sort of get your power points up and get your skill points up, is just, it's just bullshit. And, yeah, I know what you guys are going to say. Well, you can lower the difficulty. Yeah, I know you can lower the difficulty, but I shouldn't be, have to do that shit to get through the level. And uh, the worst part is, is uh, uh, when you're trying to do the campaign missions, you can't lower the difficulty. You're stuck on the lower, <laughs> on the difficulty that, you, that you've got, apparently. So, uh, I couldn't do that. And constantly dying and having to restart, constantly dying and having to restart, no checkpoints, not to mention the lack of freaking villains in this game. I mean, I know for a fact who the villains in this game are, and it sucks. You fight Taskmaster in the prologue, you fight uh, the Abomination in, in an early mission, and then that's it. Uh, what are the villains you got? M Moldog, and uh, he's the final villain, and you're pretty much fighting villains similar to him throughout the majority of the game. Freaking robots, 24-7, it's just freaking robots, 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 and, uh, and sometimes people... Uh, is there a distinction between them? Not really. Like they're all the f same freaking cannon fodder. No one, no one has any different unique skill sets. I mean, for a freaking game called The Avengers, yeah, you'd think that you'd think there'd be some goddamn variety in this, but there isn't. It's the same shit. It doesn't matter. 
uh, what character I play as, it's gonna end up being the same bloody crappy thing. Like, oh, I'm playing the Hulk, I'm punching a freaking villain, I'm throwing some shit at him. Oh, I'm playing as Iron Man, I can fly little suckle loops, or loops around people, but then I'm still gonna get shot down, and yeah, that's it. Kamala Khan, I really don't care. Uh, and the other characters, well, I'm not gonna end up experiencing those characters because I only play 25% of the bloody game, and I'm done. Some of you are probably gonna be like, well, but you know, give it a chance, still play it, you know, I don't wanna play it. This game pisses me off. It pisses me fucking off. How did they get away with making this fucking game? Like, I... I want to sm I want to smash this fucking thing. Like I want to smash it. I wasted money on this. I wasted money on this. You know, uh, thinking, okay, I'm 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 gonna give it a chance. You know, after Last of Us 2, it can't get any worse. No, it can get a whole lot worse. Consider this the second worst game of 2020 that I've played. Like, how do you how do you fuck up so bad? Um, I can't. I can't. Oh God, I can't. I seriously like. I'm playing this, right? And I don't know if any other people have reported it. I'm playing this, and there's like a freaking uh, lightning bar, a red, yellow light, orange bar going across the screen like that, yeah, on top of the screen like that. And that constantly appears as I'm playing the game through uh, Kamala's first mission. I updated this, I updated this, right? Uh, because apparently the update is supposed to fix a lot of the issues this game has, but that, it didn't. It didn't fix shit. Like this, this, this game still got a ton of freaking issues. I have to. I'm, I'm replaying uh, levels, uh, missions again because uh, the checkpoint doesn't activate, or it doesn't go to the next wave, or it doesn't go to the next setting because something glitched or paused. Uh, how again? How do you release a piece of crap like this? How? How? How do you expect? How do you release something like that and then expect people to pay this amount of money to play this kind of turd? Like, oh, we'll write a good comic story, people will eat that shit up. No, no, I don't care how good you're right it is. If the gameplay sucks, it sucks. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing how completely the opposite uh, of, of The Last of Us 2 this is. Like, you've got one that sucks in terms of writing and story and characters, and then you've got one that sucks in terms of the gameplay and the structure and the level design. And it's like, how? How do you get away with pulling this kind of stunt like, Jesus Christ, because, oh, we got to sell it to the... We gotta sell it to the freaking uh, COD players and the Fortnite players and shit, cause that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, and that fucking sucks. I didn't. I don't play Fortnite. I don't play. I don't pay to play for fucking Night Web. I know it's free apparently, but I, I don't know. I don't fucking play, so I don't. I don't know if it is fully 100% free. But that's what it feels like. It feels like a game they made just to appeal to those fucking little kids. And like, I'm not a kid. I want to play a good fucking game. This is a not. This is not a good fucking game. Like, re the repetitive nature of this goddamn thing. Go here, do this, go do that. Oh, you got shot a hundred freaking times. It's just constant fucking chaos. Like, I'm supposed to focus on killing this enemy. I get hit behind or from the side, from the left. Bam, 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 boom, dead. It, it seriously, it brought back nightmares of playing the original Iron Man. And I never finished that game either. I played a few levels. And then afterwards, I was just like, I'm done with this piece of shit. Like, it's repetitive, it's not fun, it's a repetitive pile of shit, and it, it's a broken game, and, and, and I got rid of it. And this, this reminds me exactly of that. Like, how do you make a game like this? How? Did they not think, like, let's look at all the other games, like, like, like Spider-Man, for Christ's sake, looked at the Arkham series, and I was like, okay, we're gonna try and emulate that, but give it our own spin, our own style, and they made it work, that was good. But they couldn't get this fucking right. Like, let me see, let me see how they could have gotten this right. Um, Captain America's character should have basically been uh, like Batman. Okay, you should have, you should have, you should have for each character, you should have incorporated some sort of uh, control and fighting system to it f from different games, and you should have given each character a sort of different campaign. Like, if you wanted to make a co-op game, then make a goddamn co-op game, but have two characters in each campaign, like sort of similar to. Uh, the Lord of the Rings Return of the King video game back on the PS2 where you had like uh, three different campaigns and it all leads up uh, with the characters sort of meeting up and fighting like the final battle or the boss battle or whatever so you, you like one one campaign was uh, Gandalf uh, the other campaign was Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli together the other one was Sam and Frodo and that was like sort of stealth so you had like uh, action stealth and then you had like uh, uh, Gandalf as the magician firing magic spells in there and defending the city and stuff so like yeah, they could have done something similar to that. Instead, we get we get we get that this this fucking turn. Or they could have done something similar to Resident Evil Six, where you had four different campaigns, and they all sort of converge at certain points, and then you play all the characters at once, and then it continues going off until you know 
certain stuff happens and the story is interconnected but they couldn't get that right, they couldn't do it like that they couldn't do it in a way where like for example you're playing like uh, the Arkham style uh, with Captain America and they've done that before with the Captain America uh, uh, first Avenger game I think time that they did years ago, I never got to play that but apparently that was inspired by Arkham Asylum uh, they could have done uh, uh, Iron Man sort of like a flight simulator sort of gameplay thing maybe where, you're, where, where, where you and Thor for example are flying up and you're doing uh, missions where Iron Man's hacking things and shooting things and Thor's just lightning and he's like Kratos basically throwing the hammer and calling it back and you're just going through these missions together uh, and then maybe another one you were full and the hole and you're just smashing through waves of enemies trying to protect people find the big bosses and then maybe with another mission you're playing as uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow and you're doing stealth missions maybe inspired by Sekiro or something where maybe Hawkeye can use the is, is his Ronin persona and he's fighting villains with the sword and uh, Black Widow's fighting people with the banters whatever and, but mostly it's supposed to be stealth so you're trying to sneak your way in through yeah, through the levels, so you got those levels with them. You got the levels with, uh, you know, four and Iron Man flying and doing shit. You got the levels of four and Hulk doing that. You got the levels of Cap, maybe with uh, Black Widow, whatever, kicking ass and doing the Arkham style fights. I don't know. They could have, they could have done any sort of thing similar to that, for example, and then done the level with like a big ass level where the, the Avengers come together and then using their separate skills to defeat the bad guy or the villains and the different bosses. But no, we get this fucking turn. We get this freaking turd. <sighs> what a pile of absolute fucking donkey inducing vomit pile of shit. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, wow. So yeah, Avengers. I don't want to finish it. I don't want to complete it. I want to get rid of it. I'm gonna, yeah, the next, the next time, the next time I get my payday, I'm going to freaking Kex and I'm giving this bloody piece of shit in and I'm getting whatever voucher money I get and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna buy something else hopefully that's out by the time that isn't a complete pile of crap because this was a pile of crap. Like, this makes me want to sit down and play the Arkham games and funny enough, I did buy the Return to Arkham, uh, 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 Return to Arkham series, so I might just sit down and replay those and, uh, you know, get back into the mood for that because this game didn't fucking do it. Hell, I'll probably play, re maybe I should re hell, replay Spider-Man, that's fucking better than this kind of shit, like, oh my god, how do you fuck up so bad? Seriously, how do you fuck up, seriously, 2020 is a part of shit. So you, like, and not just because of the freaking coronavirus, like, it's just a part of shit in all regards and everything, like, m m movies and sh shows and all this, like, like, game companies, like, everyone's just fucking up this year, like, everyone's fucking up, seriously, like, I'm so disappointed, I'm so disappointed, but mostly I'm disappointed with myself, I knew this game would be bad, I knew, I had a gut feeling, I was, I, if I get this, I'm gonna hate it, and I got it, Hoping beyond hope that I was wrong, that I could enjoy this. I didn't. I didn't enjoy this. Like, every minute I'm playing this, I'm just having the worst experience of my life. And I've already played for games where I'm having a bad time. And I promised myself I would never do that shit again. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't care how hard... Like, I played Sekiro, for Christ's sake, for a month, uh, a few, like a week or two ago, right? I was, I was just playing that for a month or two. And I had fun with that. The game was difficult, it pissed me off. But like, it was a challenge, do you understand? That game challenged me to get good and beat it and, and play it properly. That was fun in, in, a, in a challenging, sort of angry way. This is not fun, this is like me. I'm, I'm, I'm learning nothing from this, I'm gaining nothing from this. There's no, there's no experience to be gained from this playing this game. Uh, there's nothing to news in this game. I'm just pressing the same fucking buttons. I'm not anticipating it if anything. I'm not really. Do you know what I mean like I want to sit down and talk about how how interesting the combat system is, but like I can't. I can't because I only played as the freaking Hulk, Kamala Khan, and Iron Man. I didn't, I didn't get to play with what I assume are the better characters because I assume the other characters are much better to play as. But I again, I don't want to waste my time going through this game playing those characters. Okay, this game's already pissed me off to the point where I don't give a shit anymore. Like, and when you've done that to someone like me, when you've done that to, to someone who likes these characters, who likes this world, who likes this property, and you shit on it so hard that they don't want to finish it up, like, like, you, you, you failed as a game developer, basically, like, and I, I know how hard game developing is, I made a little mini crappy ass game back in uni, and that was like, that was just me doing that, and that was hard, that was difficult, 
Like, so I understand how hard it is to make a video game, like, but to fuck up this bad on a professional level? You're professionals! You're getting paid to do this! How do you fuck up? You, this, this, this should be everybody's dream job and you fuck up this hard, like, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Um, and I got the one with the steelbook as well. That's that's even more embarrassing. Look at that. Look at that nice, awesome art and, and steelbook. Like I might just keep this just for the nostalgia. Or maybe put one of my uh, uh, Blu-rays in there or, or something. I don't know. Cause like it's a nice freaking case, but god damn it, like it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This game's an absolute pile of fucking dog shit. Like. What games do I have left to play? Uh, Red, Red Red Redemption 2, I haven't started that yet, I've got that to play through. Um, uh, the Dark Souls Trilogy, uh, Persona 5 Royal Edition, I still gotta play. I still gotta play through and get all the other endings for the Catherine Full Body game that I got. I only got one ending for that. Uh, I gotta replay Metal Gear Solid 5 on the PS4 this time and uh, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition, I never got, to, got around to that. Uh, and what else? Oh, I gotta finish uh, the Walking Dead final season uh, Telltale's game and then obviously I've got my uh, new uh, Return to Arkham two games that I can play through so yeah I'm, I'm, I've am got plenty of good games to play through instead I'm wasting my time playing this new pile of crap that just feels like an old day, day, dated piece of shit from from, from the last uh, console generation and, it, and it's, it just it pisses me off it pisses me off man it pisses me off that I waste money like that when I know deep down I'm gonna hate something like oh my god Wow, wow, you guys can't tell how, you, I, I hope you can tell how pissed off I am, but like... <laughs> this tea's supposed to be fucking calming, like, wow. No, it's not calming me, man. It's not calming me at all, like... It's not calming me at all, like, I just, I just... I just want to punch the people in the face that that, that 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 were hyping me up. Like it's funny, my friends on Facebook were hyping this game up. Like, oh my god, I got a finches! Ah! And 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 then uh, the next day, I didn't hear shit from them. I didn't hear shit from them the next day after that, or the week when this game came out, which only told me one thing: they played this, and the fact that they didn't even bother talking about it, like they usually do with every other game, just just told me everything I needed to know from the reactions that this that they must have freaking hated it. And it's funny because they were hyping up. They played the beta and they were like hyping up. I didn't bother playing the beta. If I played the beta, I probably would have like been like, yeah, I'm not getting this game, which I wish I had done now. Like, uh, but I think the beta was only like for people who pre-ordered the game, right? So you could you couldn't just go on the PSN and download it and play it. Like, if I if I'd been able to do that, I would have straight up pretty much said this game's a pile of shit. Like, do not buy it. Like, do not. It's gonna it's gonna suck on release day. And I was right. It sucks. It sucks. Again, it doesn't matter how good the story is. I might, I might just go on uh, YouTube and just watch watch a playthrough of it on YouTube and see the cutscenes, but uh, which is sad because I really I really did want to play the story. I really did want to get through the campaign, but I can't. The gameplay is just so repetitive, so bad, so annoying, uh, and so slow at times. Like the way the upgrade system and everything works, that like I just can't be asked for it. I can't be bothered to to put myself through that again. Uh, I can't. I can't. If a game doesn't 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 get interesting after a certain point and it just keeps pissing you off and off and off and off, there's just no point to it. There's just no fucking point to it. Uh, wow. Wow. I'm angry, man. I'm really freaking angry. Like I didn't I didn't think a game like this could do that to me. Like imagine imagine what would happen if I was playing Last of Us Two without knowing any of the spoilers and that. Imagine if I was playing that, and then I got those spoilers. I would have been fuming. I would have been fuming, and you've seen my rent video on that, you've seen how pissed off I am, and that was me without having played the game and only seen the cutscenes and the playthroughs. Imagine what would happen if I'd actually played it and not spoiled myself, like... I would, no, I probably would, I would have broke, and I would have destroyed the disc. I would have 100% destroyed the disc. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. How do people get away with making trash like this? How? How? I seriously I hope I, I pray I pray I pray the, the next gen consoles will have a better time because this is this is embarrassing. This is depressing and embarrassing.
anyway that's 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 my rant video it's it's a lot shorter than expected because really there's there's not a lot I can really say here. if it's if it's to do with plot that and it was bad I, I would rip it apart but like it's not like the plot from what I saw was decent was decent it was but the gameplay just like let, lets it down like it does let it down and I, I don't like the way this game is made I don't like the plot structure I don't like the sorry I don't like the level structure of this I don't like how it's just the best parts was me just walking around the freaking uh, areas when it gives you an opportunity just to explore. Those were the best parts of the game. When you can get little easter eggs in there. The fact that those are the best parts is just sad. When the main crop of this game is supposed to be the action sequences in there. And, 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 it, and it's not like... This is a game I never want to replay again. I don't want to play it. I don't want to think about it. Like, you know when you play a good game, only once, for example, but you keep thinking about it and you're like, damn, I really want to replay that. But like, you, you can't bring yourself to play it because it's either way too long or it's way too hard, but it it, it, felt, it feels good. Do you understand what I mean? Like, 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 Sekiro is a game I don't think I want to replay again. I do want to replay it, but like, it, it took a lot of time to, to get through that. Uh, I've only played uh, Spider-Man only once, but you know the story well, was good and the gameplay was decent at best. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but it was still decent. Uh, God of War again, long last game. It's because there's so many different games always coming out that I'm always playing those that I don't have time to go back to those. But I I always remember those. This I'm not going to remember. This I'm just going to forget. I'm going to get rid of it and forget it, it ever existed. I'm not even going to bother with a sequel or anything. Like they dropped the ball with this. Like they they lost it. They lost they lost a consumer and a customer basically like that. So, yeah, and, yeah, I don't even want to wish luck to anyone, like, anyone who made this, like, uh, I'm hoping this game is a flop, I really do, I hope it flops to the point where a lot of gamers will just wake up and realise and smell the bullshit and be like, yeah, this is, this isn't the crap we paid for or, or, or signed up to get, like, we wanted something better, because this isn't good. If you like this, you're gonna like all the old crappy things they made back in the day, like, because I'll go and play those and then come back and play those and tell me, well, what's changed? Because nothing's changed. The same pile of shit. Anyway, right, guys, that's my yeah, that's my uh, brand video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to let all the steam out, and I'm gonna try and play something that doesn't piss me off and annoy me and puts a smile on my face. Yeah. Now to think, now to think out all the categories of games I got, which which one I'm gonna pick to play next. <laughs> Take care guys and bye, yeah?